Hello friends, this video on weather, climate and adaptations part 8 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So now that we have been talking about weather and climate, we learned that uh, the atmospheric conditions of different places are very much different from each other. So if you compare uh, in, in India itself, if you try to compare the climate of Jammu and Kashmir with the climate of say Rajasthan, they are very different from each other. Now how does this affect the living organisms which are living in that particular area? So a particular set of organisms which are uh, good enough to live in extreme cold conditions, only they will be able to stay in cold places. Similarly, those animals which can which can adapt to uh, hot areas, they can only stay in hot places. So this is what we are going to learn in adaptation, that how different living organisms adapt or adjust to different environments for their survival. So let us take the example of this polar bear. So this bear, they have thick fur on their body. So why do they have thick fur? So that they can survive in extremely cold climate because fur provides warmth to the body. So the fur provides warmth to the body. So therefore, they can very well survive in cold. Now let's suppose you take this polar bear and ask them to live in Rajasthan where the area, where the climate is very hot, dry and they tend to feel hot every time. So will they be able to survive? No, because they have their natural fur on their body. It is not a furry sweater that they can open it. So with this fur, their body will have too much of heat. So they will not be able to survive in extremely hot areas. On the other hand, if you look at this camel, so camel are perfect to survive in dry regions. Why? Because these camel, they can live without water for a large number of days. And why is that possible? Why can they live without water for long for many days that's because they can take in water in a very huge amount for example in case of human beings we all tend to feel thirsty over a couple of hours maybe when you talk more you tend to feel thirsty even quickly so within few hours you need some water to drink but in case of camels when they drink water they can actually drink it in very very large amount and then they can store it for their future use so therefore they can live without needing any water for uh, many days maybe up to 14 or 15 days and again when they take water they will compensate for all the previous fluid losses and they take a lot of water also these camel they are for their adaptation they have this hump and this hump is used to store food so now it, it also helps them to uh, travel in their, their feet that is also uh, well adapted to walk on sand so you see it is like camel is facilitated with all properties which help them to survive on in desert areas whereas polar bear is facilitated with all those properties which help them to survive in the polar regions where it is extremely cold where it is always covered with ice so some in a very similar way different organisms are adapted in different ways so that they can live in specific locations so adaptation refers to the features and habits of organisms to better suit to an environment. Now, when we say adjustments or adaptation, it is not only about the physical appearance or the physical features. It is also about the behavior of that organism or the habits of that organism, which helps them to uh, suitably live in a particular environment. Thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience. Please do not forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for latest updates. Thank you once again.